Welcome to That Canadian Fragrance Channel. Today, we're going to do another fragrance review of Ye Saint Laurent, L'Homme Le Parfum. I own Ye Saint Laurent, L'Homme, and I thoroughly enjoy it. My brother-in-law, when we were shopping for the fragrance for him, we took my sister and him out. We went out for fragrance shopping a while back, went through my collection, did all this stuff. And the fragrance he landed on was YSL L'Homme. He loved the ginger. He loved the freshness, everything like that. The only complaint most people have with YSL L'Homme is it's soft. It doesn't project very hard. It doesn't last overly long, but sometimes that's what you're looking for. And so when I got the sample here of L'Homme Le Parfum, one expects a deeper, richer experience of the same kind of, of thing. So I got it. And first thing off is you can see here is it's a, hopefully it's a blue bottle, a blue liquid. And of course, I can't make any comments about the presentation sprayer. Although, because it comes in the same bloody bottle as my Loam and my La Nuit de Loam, it'll work fine. The sprayers are good. My personal bottle, the cap has been broken from being pulled off for travel, sh sharing, anything like that. But I'm not going to hold that against it. Fine atomizers. And there it goes. So this one here, let's put it in the air so I can smell it. For me, well, it opens up with a little bit of ozonic notes. It has clearly a cardamom and a citrus, maybe like a lemon going for it as well. As it matures, you're going to get some of the violet leaf. You're going to get some of the, there's a greenness. They list it as basil, but that's there in the mid. And as it gets to the base, which you're going to enjoy for most of this fragrance life, is some amber wood, some cedar, and some vetiver. I really tell you the truth. I get that greenness, and I get a little bit of that woodiness, but there also seems to be this muskiness into this as well that, for me, stands out very well with it. The one thing when you expect to get a Le Parfum is you're expecting a smoother, longer-lasting experience. And with this one, I don't think you really get it. It does have a smoothness, more so than some other fragrances, but it doesn't seem to last much longer than a fragrance that's famous for getting increasingly less long lasting. So is it worth it? I'm gonna say not particularly, because you lose that wonderful ginger brightness. That lemon is there to brighten it up. There's ozonic notes and it's a bit more musky, but it's very much a different beast. It's not the same thing brought up. It's something else kind of in the line that's supposed to be stronger, maybe more musky, a little bit more woody, more based out, but it's not really that much better of an experience. It's not even that much of a similar experience for someone who would like to have that YSL Loam ginger brightness, smooth woods, and a little bit of spice. This doesn't have that. It's a little bit more green, a little bit more musky. Again, has a little bit of ozonic notes and lemon to brighten it up at the beginning. But it's really, I'm kind of glad that all I got was the sample. This one here is thoroughly not for me. It could be yours. It's not that, uh, whatchamacallit, offensive. It's not that bold. It is smooth. It does have that YSL kind of nice. So you can wear this to the office. It'd be a good office fragrance. I think this leads a little bit more mature than other ones. But again, it's just for its money, you can get other fragrances that do something very similar, maybe do a little bit better. I can't recommend it. I'm going to give this one, sadly, a 5.5 .5 out of 10. 